Hey guys, so I want to talk about there's nothing new in your past. Now, a lot of us have a great future for us. Jesus has a future for everyone. And there is a lot of places that our lives can go. And Jesus wants to take you someplace new. Places you've never been before. But if you're holding on to something that is dear to you, like you, your old life, then you're missing out on all of the new things that you could be experiencing with Jesus. Our life has to mean something here. This is not our permanent home. This is only a temporary home. This is like a waiting room. Eventually, we're going to die. And eventually... We're going to go someplace for eternity. It's your choice where you go. But a message to the Christian, there is nothing new in your past. There's nothing that you haven't seen before in your past. There is nothing to gain from your past. You need to stop looking back to the past because Jesus has already forgiven you of your sins and wiped that past away. You need to look to the future you need to press on, press forward, not take a step back. Because if you take a step back, then you're not going to get to where you need to be. You're not going to get to the things that you need to do. There are new places in your life you could go. But if you're constantly going back to your old life, then you will never get there. It's time for you to let go of your past and accept the future that Jesus has for you. It's full of blessing. You can have what awaits you in heaven, but you got to choose that. Which is more important to you, your blessing in heaven or your blessing on earth? Store up treasures in heaven, not on earth, because people can't break in and steal your treasures in heaven. The things of this world are good, but they're only temporary. But you could have something for eternity. You have to choose. I'm not saying you have to give up everything. But you need to decide which, which path you're going to go down. The path to eternal life is narrow if you find it. The path to hell is wide. Many go down it. But the only way to go to heaven is through Jesus. It says that in the Bible. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. So therefore, there is no other way to heaven. People say there are many ways to heaven, but there aren't. There's only one way. It's time for you to take that way. It may be hard, but it's worth it. You have to persevere. Instead of staying the same and being happy where you are or what you had, improve. Want to go to new places because you'll figure things out. You'll discover things you never knew before. You will grow closer in a relationship with Jesus, but you have to decide that that's what you want. You have to be willing to let go of this world and accept the blessing that Jesus has for you. But until you really want that in your heart, you won't do it. There's nothing new in your past. It's the same old, same old. And it's you're just wasting your life if you decide to live in the past. The past has been wiped away. If you are holding on to something, you're missing out on so much. I recommend that you let that go and you embrace the things that Jesus has for you. Because you're living a new life. You're not supposed to live the old life. There is a new 
home waiting for you on the other side of this race, on the other side of your life, you have a new calling, a new purpose, a new mission, and that is to win souls to heaven and lead them to eternal life. That is why you're here. It's not to hang out in the world. It's not to have fun. You can still do that, but your main goal is to reach out to those that are lost and that are going to hell and bringing them to Jesus. That is what you're here to do. Don't get distracted from your mission because there is something better waiting for you. Don't get satisfied with what you have right now. Be looking forward to what you have waiting for you in heaven. There are mansions for us in heaven that are far greater than anything you could have in this world. What is your choice? Think about that. I'll see you guys later.